Hi, I'm Yi Wei. Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Ning Xuan from River Valley High School. We are currently undertaking a project to explain latest scientific discoveries. Recently, in France, microorganisms from 20 million years ago have been found in tree resin. Tree resin is a form of solidified tree sap which is similar to amber and usually contains preserved insects. In this case, the microorganisms found are the world's first unicellular algae, diatoms. That's right. Other microorganisms include primitive animal plankton like radiolaria or foraminus. Also, there were echinoderms found in the tree resin. Echinoderms means spiny sea creatures and they're mainly comprised of starfish and sea urchins. As these creatures are mostly found underwater, scientists propose that a torrential storm blew these creatures into a nearby forest, causing them to be trapped in the nearby tree resin. Prior to this stunning finding, there have been other similar mini-discoveries, like the discovery of prehistoric mammal hair in amber in June. Such discoveries bear many implications for researchers and scientists alike. Researchers will be able to understand the cell structure and adaptation of the diatoms and may be able to form, formulate theories on how these organisms live underwater. Also, if we are able to study the diet and research methods of these diatoms, we may be able to make new discoveries eventually. We can also study the way that organisms have evolved over time. As these um, organisms have been around since the Cretaceous period, it effectively means that they have been around for time immemorial. As such, they could give researchers new leads when it comes to de developing theories for the origin of life or the origin of evolution. For example, they can, these of microorganisms can be used to formulate theories to help prove Charles Darwin theory of evolution. Furthermore, by studying tree resin and some plant compounds in it, we will be able to find out crucial information about the climate of the Cretaceous period. Such information will benefit geographers as they will be able to deduce information about the temperature, pH and humidity of the coastal and forested areas millions of years ago. Indeed, also if cloning were possible in the future, these creatures could be cloned and help to help further scientific research. Also, they might even be of use to our daily lives today. Uh, and with that, we have come to the end of our presentation. We hope that this has been informative and useful. Thank you. Thank you.